In previous projects, I've made a few knives and different things with saw blades. In the beginning, I had some questions about how hard this steel was, what was the quality of the steel. The stuff I found online said that, uh, for the most part, um, sawzall blades are made out of a fairly good quality steel. It's uh, known as um, L6. That's a good quality, high carbon steel. You know, the thing about sawzall blades is that there are some that are bimetal. Like this one here is bimetal. The teeth are harder, they're a harder steel. And they're fused to the body of the blade with laser welding, whatever. Uh, if you look closely at, a, at one of these blades, you'll see a line uh, across the base of the teeth, and that's actually where the teeth join to the body of the blade. So if you're going to use one of these blades, the best, uh, the best strategy is to grind the teeth off uh, completely and get to the body of the blade. The body of the blade is still very hardenable steel and good quality. That's what I made this knife out of. And uh, to this day I use it quite a lot and uh, it's holding up well. Uh, one surprising thing is, is that the blade doesn't rust on this. Not that I've dumped it in water and left it or anything like that. It's just, uh, I guess, the, the oil from my fingers or whatever I happen to be doing is enough to keep it from rusting. Uh, and it's holding up really well. There's another uh, knife that I made from a uh, Sawzall blade. And that's a striking knife, it's a marking knife. And I use this quite a bit too. And not only for marking, I use it for making small cuts and things, opening packages, whatever whatever I happen to need a knife for at the time, I'll grab this and use it. Uh, this is also holding up really well. So I made those with sawzall blades, and, and it's been established what the quality of the steel is in a sawzall blade. But when I went to look for the quality of uh, steel in a circular saw blade, in particular the ones that have carbide teeth like this one, I found that a lot of the information online uh, suggested that the body of these blades is, is mild steel. I know from my own experiences, from cutting out uh, these blades uh, for various things, uh, that this is not mild steel. I know mild steel when I cut it, I know Miles Seal when I work with it, and uh, I was very surprised when I read that these that many um, many knife knife making guys think that these are Miles Seal. My cleaver uh, is made from a, a 10 inch saw blade, carbide tip saw blade, and it's holding up really well. The steel is very hard. Uh, I didn't harden it in the video. The last thing you saw of this, the blade was shiny. Since then, I have. Uh, etched the blade in um, hydrochloric acid and that brought out the uh, pattern in the steel and it made the surface a little bit more receptive to oil. It opened the pores you could say so that when you oil the blade it absorbs into it a little bit and it keeps it from rust. I've used this quite a lot also and it's holding up really well. It takes a very keen edge. So I've got a few um, samples that I'm going to I'm going to test out, demonstrate um, the hardenability of this steel. It demonstrates the method of doing it so that you can you can try it yourself uh, easily. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take any real expensive equipment to do it either. And you can wind up uh, getting some decent steel from stuff that normally would be thrown away. Okay, I've got a. A few pieces of steel to try out. Um, this is a piece of mild steel. This is a corner bracket that you can get at the hardware store. Um, this one I painted for some other reason, but um, that won't affect it. Um, this is easy to cut into with a file. It's, it's steel, but it's not overly hard. Uh, here I have a uh, this is a masonry blade, masonry cutting blade, and it has uh, a diamond rim on it. Um, that's pretty much worn out on this blade. I picked this up on a, a site, uh, they threw it away, so I grabbed it. It's fairly thick steel, it's nearly an eighth of an inch thick. Um, 
it's the body of the blade that I'm interested in. And uh, this is a little bit harder, a little bit harder than this to file. It's not overly hard though. Also I have um, carbide tip circular saw blade. I've cut this section out uh, to try. This is uh, quite a bit harder, but I can still file it. In general, filing is a test of hardness. I mean, if you can't file it, then it means it's very hard. And last, I have a sawzall blade. This is uh, this is hard enough that uh, it's difficult to file, but uh, it's still not really hard. To do it, I've got some. Uh, Map gas. Map gas is uh, quite a bit hotter than propane. You can still do it with propane. It'll, it'll just take a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to quench it in water, just ordinary water. I've got a magnet here to test. Um, once it gets up to temperature, it shouldn't stick to the magnet anymore. That'll tell you if it's at the stage where uh, it's ready for hardening. So I'll do the mild steel first. Typically if you get it up to the point where it's glowing, um, glowing red or, or slightly orange, that should be it. You see it's starting to get red. It doesn't stick to the magnet any longer. A little bit longer here. I'm punching the wall. I'm going to let it fully cool down um, before you handle it. Now I'll take the file and I'll see if it's if it's taken any hardness. Um, generally, mild steel doesn't have enough carbon in it to become hardened. Uh, for heat treatment. Yeah, it's just the same as before. It made absolutely no difference. I can still file in quite easily with the file. Next one I'll do is the piece out of the circular saw blade. It doesn't stick to the magnet anymore. One thing about using water is that it can uh, it can be more of a shock to the, the metal. Um, and it might make it crack. <clears throat> That's why you've seen me use oil before. Let's try to see if it can file this now with you. Yeah, the file doesn't... Uh, file doesn't cut this at all. Um, so this this uh, this blade is very hardenable and uh, that's very good uh, that's very good hardness. Uh, after this, uh, say if you were making a knife with this or something, uh, some other kind of blade, uh, what you would do is you would put it in the oven um, to draw the temper. That will what that will do is will make it a little bit softer, but it will also make it uh, a lot more flexible. Right now, this is going to be very brittle. I'll be able to break this. I should be able to break this with no problem. Yeah, see, it's very very brittle. Um, putting it in the oven will will temper it make it a little bit softer, but it'll also make it a lot more flexible. In comparison, I'll compare that to the other side here that's not hardened. Well, it, I guess it was hardened at one point, but they've drawn the temper on it. And you can see that it doesn't, it doesn't break. So, this blade, very hardenable, very good steel for making stuff, uh, making cutting tools with.
Next I'll try this, uh, this big guy here. Um, I'm very interested in this because it's a nice big thick piece of steel. Uh, you can actually get these in, in quite huge sizes, uh, up to like 24 inches I've seen. Uh, this one I think is a 14 inch. So. This being thicker is going to take a bit longer to heat up. I'm going to stick with the magnet any longer. Okay, it took quite a bit to heat that up. I like see it is thicker. It is thicker steel. And working with thicker steel like this, <coughs> it's a good idea to have a forge. Um, you're going to go through a lot of gas like this trying to heat up something like this. You probably need three or four of these torches if the thing is bigger. Okay, I'll check the hardness out. Now, once again, this is, I'm, I'm happy to say that this is very hardenable steel also. <clears throat> the file just skates across the surface, it doesn't, it doesn't cut in. Um, that's good news, that means I can, I can use this blade for something that I want to make um, a, a sharp cutting tool with. Next I'll do the sawzall blade. Okay, <clears throat> I pretty much already know what the outcome here is. I know that this is uh, very good steel to begin with. Uh, my other experiences with it tell me that. So I know that this file is not going to cut into it. And it doesn't. It just, just slides across the surface now. So that's it. Um, if you have some old blades, uh, hanging around that you, uh, you uh, don't need anymore, you can throw them out. Uh, take the time to do this simple test. If you can harden it, then you can use it as a cutting tool. Thanks for watching.